Every day, millions of messages are passed around the world in complex networks of information. If the information flow is disrupted, however, these messages can become lost. The human body is one such network. Irreversible damage to nerve tissue, for example as a result of sports injuries, requires medical intervention to help regenerate the injured tissue. In their publication in Small, Abdul Rahman Omidinia Anarkoli, Laura de la Porta, and co-workers from the Leibniz Institute for Interactive Materials in Aachen, Germany, describe a promising injectable hybrid hydrogel with the ability to induce oriented cell growth. When tissues in the body are damaged, biomaterials can be applied to provide a template to regenerate and repair the tissue. For soft and sensitive tissues, these materials have to be administered in a low-invasive manner. This can be done with hydrogels because you can inject them as a liquid and they solidify after you inject them. The problem with these hydrogels is that they don't provide any structural directionality. As nerve tissue is highly oriented, unidirectional guidance is crucial. With our anisogel, we combine these two important properties, injectability and the creation of linear structural guidance. To combine these two important properties, injectability and unidirectional guidance, they have developed a simple and effective procedure to fabricate a tunable biomimetic anisotropic hydrogel comprising magneto-responsive short polymeric fibers called anisogel. In the first step, they blend polylactide co-glycolide with superparamagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles and then electrospin aligned fibers on a parallel plate. After embedding the fibers in an optimum cutting temperature gel for subsequent cryosectioning, the fibers are purified. The short fibers are mixed within a hydrogel precursor solution. To obtain fiber orientation after injection, a low magnetic field of less than 300 milliteslas is applied before hydrogel crosslinking. The short fibers align parallel to the magnetic field. After polymer crosslinking, the magnetic field can be removed and the unidirectional structure can prompt linear cell growth. To analyze the ability of the anisogel to enable unidirectional nerve growth, a dorsal root ganglion, or single nerve cells, are mixed into the hydrogel and cultured for seven days. Using a hydrogel without fibers, or with randomly oriented fibers, the neurites grow with radial extensions, while the anisogel supports the unidirectional growth of the neurites along the fiber direction. The functionality of the growing neurons inside the gels is investigated by measuring the calcium transient through a fluorescent indicator, FLUO4. While hydrogels with randomly oriented fibers show signals in multiple directions, calcium signals along neurons inside the anisogel induce signal propagation in the direction of the short aligned fibers. To find out more about this novel, low-invasive anisotropic hydrogel, please visit the small homepage.